Hello, Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers. A very good day to everybody. So, we are going to discuss about uh, today's topic. Uh, it is about loop frontiers. So, it's uh, completely a different uh, website that uh, we are going through today. Because uh, this is one kind of website that uh, many will not know about it. And uh, there are several versions of this website. But uh, make sure you type in correctly, like uh, loop frontiers in Google. So you'll be getting loop research network frontiers. So that's, uh, uh, I have observed it to be uh, a very good open science research network because uh, uh, more than indexing your research papers, also when it comes to editorial contributions, uh, this uh, peer-reviewed website is uh, a very good uh, publishing platform or maybe what you can say if it's a, a very good website for indexing your research publications so you need not have to rely on the uh, publication house for indexing all your research papers you can do it on your own and uh, the way they offer suggestions is a very good advantage with the loop frontiers so when you google loop frontiers which means that you will be getting this website loop.frontiersin.org okay so i have created this profile so i've already logged in my profile okay so i mentioned the same name Mr. An. i can edit them if i want to okay and also uh, like i have my affiliation as well as uh, my degree as well and uh, i have my bio okay so i have my brief bio here and i have linked in my orchid profile my Twitter profile and my personal website as well. Okay, so I have affiliated my affiliation as well, and uh, you know my schooling, you know my positions, editorial positions, you know, society memberships, everything we can do that. Okay, like uh, even like uh, with the case of uh, you know the expertise as well, I can add them. Okay, so which means that several researchers will try to collaborate with me. They will try to follow me. So here is an overview of my page. Like uh, I have totally 733 total views like uh, i haven't updated much of my publications here that's the reason i'm getting this uh, total views to be less okay also here i can see um, you know the publications uh, impact as well so maybe if you haven't uh, logged in for a much name which means that's a uh, just like your uh, banking it gets logged out so which means you can log in again okay so i have like 1000 publications over here 6811 citations here okay like 278 views i have okay right so this is the thing like uh, several downloads are there okay several citations and scopus views i have okay so this is the metrics i have okay with the case of impact okay and uh, I have a uh, overview section about how many followers I have, how many following I have. Okay, so that also I can see. So try to have some meaningful followers as well. And uh, we have like 455 profile views, 1000 total publications, and then 278 publication views, and so on. Okay, so all these 1000 publications, uh, uh, which has been confirmed, it is here. Okay and the suggested it shows you okay like uh, maybe in the top you have an information we have found publications that may belong to you maybe you can add them to your profile now okay so if i click on this add them to, to my profile maybe it will show this section and uh, you can add the publications for which you are the co-author okay so you can add them just by a single click you can add this publication to your profile okay so but make sure you add only the publication of yours and don't add somebody else's publication. Okay, so this is the thing. And many will try to uh, fake uh, everybody that uh, they have added somebody else's publication. So don't add them. So add the publication only if it is yours. And then uh, you have a section called, uh, you know, rejected. Okay, which means I haven't rejected any of the publications okay and uh, i have uh, you know 47 in my network as well okay so you can uh, you know add them to my network i can have a list of uh, you know followers and following as well right then i have a section called uh, you know my frontiers if i click on my frontiers i can get a 
overview okay about my matrix my editor roles okay so you can go for you know several sections like overview my inbox as well as my invoices okay. maybe if i click on this my inbox okay so i am getting some uh, invitation reminder okay from frontiers okay from the journal team i have getting some notification okay so maybe i can review them maybe if i click on submit which means that it will be adding in my peer reviewed editor reports so that's also a great thing okay and uh, my invoices as well okay i'm getting the invoices as well so frontiers open invoices okay according to the product and uh, validity i'm getting the invoices so that also you can do that okay so based on your services you will be getting the invoices okay and uh, you can add the editor roles here you can add the research topics you want to okay maybe with re related to the first article publication or my first research topic uh, article you know 10th 100th uh, anything you can add okay. and uh, here maybe you can click on the submit uh, to add these articles here that's also you can do that and uh, here in the uh, my profile maybe i can go for settings and privacy okay which means i can update my name uh, my other authoring names as well for example if i mention it as christo anand maybe dr christo anand or maybe c dot a dot anand maybe let us take the case you can update them you can want to. maybe it will giving you the suggestions the research publications maybe if it is falling into the suggestion list okay i can change the email id the password associated and uh, i have my privacy settings as well maybe i can choose my profile to be public or maybe private okay. so if i am choosing in public means which means my research activity will be followed and which means i can also follow the research activity of others also i can set by email preferences i want to. okay like the open access publishers personal notifications as well i can go through them okay so i can say with the case of loop profile um, it's uh, it's one of the uh, powerful indexing uh, website where you tend to index your research publications and you can uh, add the research publications from the suggestions so i would rather rate this website similar to the academia.edu okay so this also has got a good platform to index your research publications to add your editorial board memberships and also you will be getting the peer review in your messages as well so don't forget to do all this and uh, if you have any doubts any clarifications with respect to loop frontiers in dot org you can of course you can ask me in the comment section i am sure i'll be replying you at my best possible means and uh, if you have got good experience with respect to uh, showcasing your profile in blue frontiers you can share them maybe other researchers also will tend to get some idea out of your comments okay so thank you very much for your kind support